Hello, viewers, wherever you are, how successful do you want to be in your life, even in your business? Have you taken out time to ponder over these thoughts? How successful do I want to be? Are you not tired of the position where you are today? Wherever you are watching this program, this is Business and Economy Network. My name is Peter Wunch. I want to say thank you so very much for allowing us into your homes, offices. Those of you watching us in Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ilori, Ibadan, Sokoto, outside the shores of Nigeria, I want to say thank you. Well, we have reputable CEOs on the block today who we, I, we brought together to inspire you and more importantly, for you to look inward into yourself and see that you have those God-given potentials to be a success, just like these people want to showcase today. It's going to be an interesting watch, inspiring, incisive, and very educative. Please don't touch that. I'll be back after this time out. Let's go Projects, Projects Limited, Limited. It is a construction, construction company with details, details of designs and build. build. Duly registered, registered in Nigeria about eight, eight years ago, ago with its head office, office in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Abuja. Since, Since its inception, the firm, firm has handled and completed a series of, of construction projects so far, and their areas, areas of concentration are the Federal Capital Territory, Plateau, Plateau and the United, United States, States respectively. Uh, my name is Ibrahim Tumba Yunusa. I'm from Adamawa State. I'm 37 years of age now. <clears throat> I completed my secondary school education in King's College, Lagos. I left there in 1993, after which I had, uh, took a BSc in Architecture from University of Jos. I immediately proceeded to Reading University in the United Kingdom for my master's degree in Construction Management. Uh, today, I'd like to say I'm a professional construction manager. Okay. That is Gold Projects Limited is actually a construction build construction company <coughs> with a ethos of design and build. We registered the company in 2006, so we're about eight years old now, and have since uh, completed a series of projects. Our head office is in Abuja, and we are primarily. Uh, concentrated in project, we go after projects in uh, the middle belt region, I would say. Because you know in construction industry you look at uh, logistics, moving your equipment around, so you try and focus your company in areas where you, you are based. So we cover uh, the uh, FCT, Plateau States, Niger States, I mean uh, those are our primary areas of concentration. It is generally believed that non-compromising of quality helps this regard going concern on a high standard. Based on this, Lattice Gold Project Limited ensures that for every building, the best brand's logo must stand out in terms of quality. And this is achieved by paying attention to projects right from the design point through the construction to the finishing of the project. That one is simple. It's quality. You don't compromise your standards. Uh, we insist that any building we we'll put out that will bear our company logo must definitely, definitely stand out in terms of uh, quality. You also, of course, want to please your, time, uh, your clients by paying attention to the parameters of cost and time so that you leave your clients happy and satisfied. But I, I would say the unique, uniqueness is the quality of the finished product which you have to pay attention to right from the design point mm -hmm. to the construction to the finishing. So if you focus on that, uh, which I believe we have been able to do, then you get repeat business and you get satisfied clients. Uh, technology permits every sphere of our society and if you go to sleep for, for a couple of months and you're out of the game, you have to be awake 24-7. When I studied architecture, we were drawing with, on the, uh, with the T-square on the drawing board. Everybody is literate with AutoCAD now. Same with the equipment that you use on site. So as a construction company, we try to stay abreast of the latest technologies available for our business. Uh, the days of uh, having to take a, a tape rule and physically measure are done. We have laser measurement measurers for that now. You have to have things like that. Speaking of technology, this is one of the new technologies that Ladis Gold has just uh, imported from the U.S. Uh, we are going to be building houses very soon 
with these panels. These are honeycomb panels. <clears throat> this is actually the wall of the building. This is the core. And then these boards, which provide, make the sandwich, uh, complete it. And, and this very soon, I'll tell you that we're bringing this product into the market and we're going to be building houses. And this will be cheaper, easier to maintain, faster to build, and then it will hopefully drive the cost of housing down. And uh, mark, mark it when it happens, you would have been the, one of the first people to see it here. So it's an expose I'm giving you. <laughs> so, so technology, uh, to answer your question, is part of our uh, company uh, motto, is to keep abreast with technology. As long as you're not ready to, to, to equip yourself and move with them, you might as well go out of business if you're not going to place. I'm, I'm very passionate about that. And uh, one of the managers of one of our, uh, of the shopping mall in, in Joss was recently awarded, I think the National Association of uh, Stud Students in Uni Joss gave him a, a, an award for being one of the best employers of labor uh, in the states. That's because of the number of uh, Uni Joss graduates that we're employing to work. Because after construction, what we do provide is facility management uh, services, which we engage a lot of uh, young people. <clears throat> I would say in Abuja here, we have at least 14 to 15 permanent staff. These are people that are paid from the projects that we are engaged in. So we do have, uh, we, we, we employ labor. We also participate in the student training program. So every year I get sent uh, a number of uh, students from various polytechnics and universities for training. And uh, uh, I think uh, it's only this year we've not had a, a copper here. I don't know why nobody came, but for the last three years we've had coppers here. So I, I do aim to give back to my community. In architecture, we're taught that even the feeling of looking at your building every day is part of what the environment has to live with. So if you go and put a very ugly thing up for people to be looking at every day or depressing them, but yes, that is true. Apart from the beautifying the environment, we really in this company want to go beyond that to make sure we're contributing our quota for national growth. And I think we're doing that. In Nigeria, and especially in the building industry, several challenges are faced by firms operating within the sector of which Ladis Gold Project Limited is one. The firm is posed with various challenges when executing projects. Every construction project is, is challenging. But I would say, I would single out when we built uh, now defunct Oceanic Bank branch in uh, Nasarawa State. That was very challenging because uh, the corporate body, you know, they, when they say 12 weeks, they mean 12 weeks. They're not a uh, government where you want to look for loopholes. And so that project was very challenging because they, they kept to time, they insisted on quality. And the fact that we were able to deliver and please them, being very demanding clients, that was one of the most challenging projects I was engaged in and one of the most satisfying, actually. Uh, I also single the shopping mall in Jaws that bears the name of our company, Ladies Go Shopping Mall, located in Jaws City. Uh, the, most, the, the, the most challenging part of it, <clears throat> if I can use that word, is that my own personal funds were tied in the project. You know it's different when you are playing games with people's uh, finances. When you yourself are involved and you become a developer, then uh, you know that you can't give yourself excuses. And the project was done under duress, I would say, because uh, during the time when we started the, the, the building was when there was this kind of a crisis in Joss City. So managing that whole process and managing construction under those environments was, was very challenging. But I'm, I'm happy to say today the mall is standing and I have been told it is one of the most remarkable uh, buildings in Joss City. Yeah. Commentators, political leaders, economic analysts, stakeholders, and other concerned individuals have decried the poor condition of major Nigerian roads, yet little has been done to take serious steps in solving the problems. Well, definitely I am not satisfied, and uh, I'm sure most people are not satisfied. And the reason is that um, our cities have so much chaos. 
um, there seems to be no proper planning there's abuse everywhere of the environment and um, we do not feel happy that we have to work in this kind of condition sometimes you wonder why are new areas turning out the way they're turning out why are things not properly planned as they should be however we have our limitations government has to put in place proper planning procedures which must not be flouted we see them being flouted every day we don't have control of this but we believe that if government would sit up to its responsibility in this